Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. From the base of your spine, down to the center of the earth. Create a grounding cord that's very strong and fortifying and nurturing and safe. And from the roots of that grounding cord, you're going to anchor yourself to Mother Earth, to yourself, to your essence, to who you are. Letting go of the past, take a nice big deep breath. Letting go of the future, take a nice, big, deep breath. And let's say hello to the here and now. Present time. We're waking up to the day, waking up to ourselves, waking up to this moment and in this moment tell yourself I am safe now about two feet out you're going to create a circle of light and in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit, where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. A circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And now let's create a circle of red divine roses all around you. This is your protection, your divine protection that is keeping you safe energetically, spiritually, and at times physically. Red roses all around you. Everything goes on the outside of your space that is not you. Claim you, I am safe. You have this beautiful space all around you today. It's all of you celebrating you. And now let's come up to your sixth chakra right between the brow. And about two feet out, you're going to create your movie screen. Say hello to your life on your movie screen. You're not going to become the energy. You're going to watch the energy. Saying hello to your opportunities this week. What opportunities do you have? Some you're aware of. Some you haven't even discovered yet. Say hello to your challenges. Are there any triggers coming up? Let's give it the energy 
of safety around those triggers. You are safe to feel. Say hello to your blessings, the beautiful blessings you have in your life. Now let us check in. Physically scan your body. You're saying hello to your body. And just ask yourself, how do I feel physically? Am I safe in my body? Do I have enough space to breathe? Space to feel and think. Just check in with your body. Don't try to change anything. If there's any disease or discomfort, old and light, green for healing, pink for self-love. And affirm in your physical body health, vitality, strength, and flow. One more time. Health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice big deep breath. Come up to the center of your head. Create that golden light in the center of your head. Allow that golden light to get bigger and brighter, flushing out any fogginess, any frenetic energy, any incoherence. And really envision that golden light flushing out all those areas. You're clearing the slate of your mind. As your mind is clear, you have the ability to create a space in your mind in order to take your next steps. I am clear. I am powerful. I am strong. I am safe. Is your mindset. And say to yourself, I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Nice big deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and into your heart space. You're opening up that heart space and now we're opening up your chakras and your energy centers. One more time, all the way up to your crown chakra. And all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back into your heart space. We're saying hello to our emotions, our feelings. We're opening up that space to feel safe. To know that we are okay just the way we are. And now let's ask ourselves a question around our feelings. How do you feel today? Ask yourself, how do I feel? in this moment.
We may feel a variety of things. You're giving yourself space to feel. In the emptiness of this space, we get to sit with ourselves in the silence of this space. Take a deep breath, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. You're giving yourself space to feel. Now as we create this week a time for this safe space. We get to design how you really feel this week. Calm, relaxed, happy, open, reflective. Now it's your turn to come up with a mantra or three things that start to ignite this energy of creating a safe space. I'll give you three and you can add on to it. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and whatever else you'd like to feel. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and Take a nice, big, deep breath. Mm. And come up to your seventh chakra right above the head. And say hello to your divinity. Your spiritual higher self. And just like little light sockets, feel yourself plugging in to yourself, to your essence, to who you are, to the divine, your loved ones into the world. And affirm in your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual body, I am connected. I am connected. And now let's ask our higher self for help this week, support in creating that new emotional space that creates that safety all around you. I am safe. I am protected. 
in this moment, all is well. I am perfect just the way I am. I am loved, I am supported. I am creating space in my life for the things that I want. I am creating that safe space in the here and now. Now ask God, your spirit guides and teachers, for help in the unseen forces. Take a nice big deep breath again and put your hand on your heart and let's think and feel into the three things that you are grateful for in this moment. now send love to someone who may need it, including yourself. And let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens coming down through that crown chakra into your sixth, igniting your intuition and your knowingness and knowing that you are divinely protected and safe. Coming down through that throat chakra, igniting your true expression and self and knowing that you are safe and powerful to speak your truth coming down into your heart space, feeling the sense of calm and power and love and protection and safety as it moves down through your solar plexus, igniting that powerful force field that allows you this space to create, to manifest as it moves down into your second chakra, creating a safe space for all of your relationships, especially the more challenging ones, as we move down to the base of your spine, the foundation of life, the root chakra. Say to yourself, love of self, I am safe. Love of self, I am safe. As it moves down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility down through your calves and into your feet. Wiggle those toes. Say hello to your fun fairies. As it moves this beautiful energy down into Mother Earth, you are grounded. You are centered, you are powerful, you are strong, and you are safe. And say to yourself, all is well, life is good, and everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Release and 
and open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. The topic of emotional and safe spaces for people is really important. And I think it's one that isn't looked at upon um, in a lot of kind of meaning day to day. But if you think about yourself as a child or think about a child that you know that doesn't really have a safe space emotionally, most of us that are listening to this grew up in a time that it wasn't about emotional safety. It was about you had food to eat, you had a roof over your head, and you had clothes, and that saying children are designed to be seen but not heard was kind of the norm of the day. Not so much anymore. Most of you that went on to have children, created children that started to look at emotional safety and emotional space. But I still think there's a lot of room for growth. So this is why this topic is really important not only for yourself, but for your loved ones. When we don't feel emotionally safe, we attack or we withdraw. And if you look at the collective right now, there's a lot of attack, isn't there? Because the emotions that have been building up are not being dealt with in a healthy way. All you have to do is turn on the news and see that. But now let's direct it back to ourselves. A lot of times, if we're still healing from something, we're looking for the outside world to give us that safety in order to feel safe. So first and foremost, and this goes into inner child work, is we've got to create that room for safety to say that we are okay just the way we are. And even if you've done a lot of work in this area, you know life is like an onion. It peels back another layer of it in a different way, but it's still the same wound. And so think about the areas right now that you do not feel a sense of safety as it relates to your own emotions or others around you. So, for example, I guess I can say this. There are people in my life, some family members I won't mention, which I've mentioned before, <laughs> but we'll leave those to the anonymous is that I would probably say I don't feel emotionally safe. And one of the reasons why is that I don't know what is going to come back at me. Sometimes it's, you know, really great. And other times it's not. So there's an unpredictability there. So if I were to ask myself in this relationship, do I feel safe? And the answer would say emotionally, no. Now you may have, other people in your life that you may identify with, or there may other situations that are happening that are causing you not to feel emotionally safe, being criticized, being told you're wrong, being told in an indirect or direct way, you're not good enough. Here's the worst one. Neglect. You're not even worth my time. Ouch. All of these areas in our life either create emotional safety by positive reinforcement or they 
are being identified as negative and we start to protect ourselves and we either get angry or we shut down or a combination of both. So I'd like you to pick an area of your life that you do not feel emotionally safe. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to identify what makes you feel this way. Why don't you feel safe with this person? Or this situation it may not be specific to a person. You may be going into a work environment where you don't feel emotionally safe. And it's a, it's a collective energy. It may be affecting you what's going out in the world. That may be an area. I don't feel emotionally safe. So once you've identified it, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to work with it this week. I'd like you to talk to this area in your life. So for me in my situation, what I've chosen to do is really take a step back and I'm not doing the all or nothing. You're out of my life or else it's more of a protection for me, not putting myself in those environments where I don't have to be in the unpredictability of it. It's also for me, acceptance, because I always want to look at the glass half full. There's hope. And here's the thing. There may be hope. It may be a glass half full at some point, but it's not going to come from me trying to fix it. So how I'm going to create that safety for myself is not putting myself in harm's way emotionally. So how are you going to process some of this stuff this week? I want you to work with it. It's not a one sentence conversation. It's one to start looking at because the more I feel emotionally safe in my, my body, my energy field, it will help me go out into the world. But if I start layering my own emotional lack of safety, my physical lack of safety, my mental lack of safety, then all of a sudden, and I go out into the world in this collective, do you see how I'm walking around with all of this stuff? And there's no room for me. So go to your core this week. Help yourself feel safe by reminding yourself that in this moment, you are safe. A few weeks back, I gave all of you a uh, meditation affirmation about going to sleep is like 14 minutes or something like that, where all it does is reinforce that you are safe to go to sleep. How many times do we go to bed and we're carrying all these thoughts of the day and worries about the future and what we did in the past that was so wrong and we're going over and over and over and over in our head and we don't ever get to recharge. Giving yourself space to be. So this week, I invite each and every one of you to create that space, that safe space for you. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Boski. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.